Thank you for the two dollars. My podcast had it right and yours didn't. Who cares? Thank you for the money. Can I please get a Papa Junior where I rings? Make it a meal so I can get a drink. Though I'm not finished, that's not everything. Can I please get a double waffle or no cheese? Can I please get a double two with a large drink? I got money so I don't care how much it costs me. So just throw me some extra fries, I'll make them salty. All the cheese gonna make my booty trip trip. Um, have you seen the Jones tweets? Yes, I have, but I'm blocked. So I'm going to make a burner account eventually so I can see all of them from now on. Impression of Leon. Also, yeah, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to catch up on donos. Dominic Reyes, unblock me on Instagram. What the f*** are you doing? Why are you blocking me on Instagram? Why are you blocking me on everything? I've always thought, that's weird. I can't ever get on Reyes' Instagram. He's blocked me. I'm a big fan of Reyes, dude. <laughs> That's what you get for right. What do you? I've been Team Reyes for years, and he blocked me on everything. So I, I literally, yeah, after he won, and I was done with my event recap video, I was gonna go to his Instagram page and just be like, "Dude, f- respect." You know what I mean? What a f- win! Or I was gonna at least look at like the fan reception of like what he got. And he's blocked me on everything. <laughs> I don't know when. I don't know when you picked against him though. Oh, you know what? If that's the reason, then he can. F- Keep you blocked. I picked against him. I was right. No offense. Well, this is why I'm blocked, probably. <laughs> but still, man, what the f- man? I'm a big fan of Reyes, dude. Dominic Reyes is back for sure. Please give him Anthony Smith. Dude, he beats Anthony Smith. He should take that fight next. He should push for that fight next. Why is my mustache doing this on this side? Do I need to trim that shit up? Keeps curling like it's on its f- side or some shit, bro. Stop it. Get some help. Then either Rakic or Roundtree. Yeah, those are winnable matchups for him. I don't like the Rakic fight, but there's others that are good matchups. Just because Rakic doesn't really come forward. So you got to sort of go after Reyes to beat him. You know what I mean? Or to lose to him. you got to kind of go after him. He'll work his way back. To, if you look at all the people that beat Reyes, Yuri went after him. He's insane. He's mentally insane. But Span just sort of waited for him to go first and then caught him with a jab. And then uh, same thing with Blahovic. Just kind of sat back, waited for him to go first and then caught him on shots. And then through body kicks at the end of his combinations as well. He said, Dominic, when you look back at our fight, I don't want you to ever question me or those judges. Look at your own heart, your own endurance. You didn't do enough. He clearly did. Jones did f*** all. And Jones even admitted in that fight that he said in the middle of it, find the clip, Twitter. Jones admitted in that fight that he had thoughts of handing Reyes the belt and giving up in that fight. So uh, talk about heart all you want. Reyes weren't the one thinking about quitting in there. You were. You literally openly admitted that you saw a look in Reyes' eyes that made you want to hand him the belt because you didn't want to. You couldn't grit down. And then you thought, no, I will grit down and get my one takedown around that somehow gives me the entire round all of a sudden. Wow, one takedown in round four, dude. What a f- round Jones got. Remember when takedowns used to mean the whole round? I don't. I had to fight with him, and he was giving me a true f- round for my money. And I remember thinking to myself, you may have met your match, John. You've had a great career. You've done a lot of great things. This this kid, he wants it. He's, he's hungry for it. John, it's okay. It's okay if you, if you come short in this one. Like, just don't let him knock you out. You can just kind of skate through this one and let him have it. Let the kid have it, John. What a claim to fame. Almost beat John Jones. Um, got full of myself and literally couldn't win another fight. Okay. It's literally true that he started losing afterwards. Yeah. But not everyone gets gifted decisions towards him. You little wife beat him. I'm sick of John Jones. Sick of him. Absolutely sick and tired of him. Man. Jones is absolutely coping about Reyes win. He absolutely is. Dude, dude. Yes or no chat. We're causing a mental downfall of John Jones and I can't wait for it. Dude. Jamal Hill is still yapping at Pereira, huh? Insane dude. Jamal Hill. You are on thin ice right now, mate, as far as I'm concerned. Anyone else with me on that one? Jamal Hill's on thin ice, dude. I might make a fucking video about him, dude. Do you think that's what Jamal wants, chat? Is he trying to bait me to make a video about him? He's losing his fucking mind. (laughs) He's losing his damn mind. You know what? That I actually saw a meme of that, like Drake, the type of guy to say now a silly one when it comes to uh, pictures with his friends. He's the type of guy to say now a silly one. Dude, that's exactly how I am with predictions. Who's with me? <laughs>
<laughs> I'll go do all my research, yeah, and I'll literally just say at the end, okay, now a silly one. Let, let's go for a silly one on the card. It makes it fun, though, you know what I mean? Now a silly one. Picking Jesse Butler truly was a silly one. Hey, chat, he fell for it, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he fell for it anyway, mate. Classic. <laughs> I got that. I don't need to pick a five to one underdog. <laughs> Fell for it, dude. Hook, line, and sinker. Dude. <laughs> he took the fucking bait. Hook, line, and sink. I was so shocked when he actually picked Jesse Butler as well. But fair play to him. Um, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Valentina looked like a 60 year old in UFC 302. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's not be mean to Valentina Shevchenko here. Come on. Oh my God, Alexa Grasso's wearing a baseball cap with her ponytail coming out the back of it. Dude, I'm watching this episode later on. No f***ing way. Is she wearing that throughout the entire episode as well? No f way, dude. Dude, is Alexa Grasso trying to riz me up? She knows. Am I off? But she knows. She knows that's my thing. That's my thing, dude. Damn. Or a woman in a tennis cap. Ew. I'm telling you, dude, that is that that that's different. That that goes beyond any look. You can have a mid face, dude. If you're a girl with like a, a tennis cap and a ponytail coming out the back, or just a regular cap with a ponytail coming out the back, dude, that's hot. I like that. How many champs have acknowledged you now? Quite a few. So out of the current UFC. Pantoja has not. O'Malley has. Tapuria hasn't. Makashev hasn't. Edwards hasn't. Okay, so then none of them. <laughs> no, never mind. Jones has. Drickus has. And so has O'Malley. So there you go. I guess there's that. Dude, I'm just waiting for the day that Grasso puts laughing emojis on like a post that I do. Edge, the edge, the night of many edges, I'm telling you. Go MMA, you say the wrong thing and I can neutralize a source of your income in a snap of the fingers like that, you little leech parasite human. Add that to the outro of your fucking video. <laughs>